Tyler, game three against the Toronto Marlies here tonight. What have you seen from the club through the first couple of outings? Yeah, uh, well, it's been an exciting first two games, first of all. Uh, it's been great to be back playing. Um, I'm sure a lot of guys are feeling it in the legs after the first game. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're a pretty good team. They've got some bigger guys up front. Um, you know, I thought last game, the second game, we were – we had a lot of more chances uh, than they did, and uh, we just couldn't capitalize. I think it could have been a 3-4-1 game for us, but, uh, you know, that's just the game of hockey. And, um, you know, I know tonight they'll probably come uh, same way, you know, use their size. And, you know, they'll dipsy doodle a little bit at the blue line with their, their young core D-man. And um, I think just containing them and, and executing on our chances, and uh, we should uh, get a win tonight. Yeah, how do you keep up the pressure on that uh, mobile defense of theirs? Because it seemed like early on in the game on uh, Tuesday, you were really having a lot of success with that, but maybe not as much further into the contest. Yeah, I think um, with, with, with guys like that, uh, you just have to contain. Um, you know, you we're taught kind of, you know, stick on puck, take the body as a winger. You want to try to eliminate uh, the body and the puck as soon as possible and eliminate space. But I think, uh, you know, you have to maybe put a – you know, just keep them to the outside. And if you want, if they want to do a be mobile, just stick man on man. And, you know, we got great, we got solid goaltending um, throughout. So I think uh, an outside shot anywhere on the blue line or on the wall, you know, as long as we're, uh, you know, keeping guys to the outside, I think that's, uh, that's the answer. A lot of talk after last game about finding that full 60 minute consistent game. How do you as a veteran kind of push those young guys to keep up the pace all through the contest? Well, I think that's just the league. Um, you know, there's you got to be consistent every shift, and uh, it's really hard to do. I've uh, I still haven't nailed it after eight years of playing pro hockey, but um, you know, I think our young guys are playing great. Uh, you know, they're all very positive. None of them get really frustrated, um, and you know what? They're using their 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 skill, their speed. <clears throat> you know, and uh, I think we had maybe just five or ten minutes of bad hockey uh, last game, and um, yeah, you know what? Uh, it's a, it's a great group, and um, I think tonight, if, if they just continue doing what they're doing and, and um, really bear down, and uh, just we just got to finish our opportunities. That's, yeah, that's the answer. It can be a challenge dropping into a new system as a new player with a new team. You've had that opportunity to go through that with a couple of teams. How has that experience helped you acclimate yourself here in Manitoba? Yeah, this is a, a new experience for me. Um, you know, running a 1-1-3 one, a one, one, it's a uh, neutral zone and, and even uh, some of the interchanges off, to, off draws and as a centerman, um, even some of the breakouts. It's, this is a new, totally new system for me. I haven't really seen it over uh, the last eight years, I think, just being in different divisions and how certain NHL clubs play. But um, it's an adjustment, and, and, and that's all you want as a hockey player is to try and learn something new every year, learn something new from different guys and uh, from different coaching staff. And, at the end of the day, it just makes you more of a versatile player and more of a complete player. So um, I'm kind of uh, fortunate to be uh, put in this situation and wasn't really sure where I was going to be, but um, it's exciting to learn something new. You were rolling with Bobby Lynch and Nathan Todd last game, one of the more consistent lines for the Moose. How did you guys find success? We just uh, kind of tried to find open ice. And, you know, uh, I think without the fans, it seems like there's more room out there um, on the ice. So I think um, you know, Bobby's got some speed and some uh, size and uh, he really, he's kind of our little grinder. Um, and, uh, you know, Todd, we, we read, we've, we've been reading each other pretty well coming, uh, you know, moving as a unit through the neutral zone and reading each other and, and, you know, kind of playing that triangle hockey in the offensive zone. And um, I think that's really shown, uh, you know, our success and uh, we've had some great chances off of that. So um, it's just filling the, filling the lanes and moving as a unit, and uh, it's uh, shown some success uh, early on. When you have a guy like Nathan Todd who's got kind of a wicked shot there on the wing, do you sometimes find yourself trying to find him too often or sometimes need to be a little more selfish with the puck, or do you, is there a balance there? Uh, yeah, that's something. I think the last 10 months, you know, no matter who I was playing with, I think uh, my parents, my grandmother, all telling me to be more selfish and shoot the puck more and be a little uh, – you know, kind of get those goals. But, you know, with Totter, he's, he definitely has a shot. Um, you, you know, you it's hard to try and just keep that in your mindset when you're playing. But um, I think with, with our success, we're just finding the open areas. And, um, you know what, if there's an opportunity to get him in the puck and, and, you know, get the goalie moving and have an easier goal than just trying to shoot it and, and hope for a rebound, I think that's something that, you know, we've been able to execute. <clears throat> um, but, um, 
yeah, I mean, uh, I love the line. I think me, Bobby, and, and Todd are, we're, we've been doing well, and I think we'll continue that tonight.